Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Hunza, but it's actually the last video up here, which is very sad. The tour with the Poach brothers are going to be ending today. So we got them both in there and then we got Harry Jaggard, the British legend in the back. We're actually just on the road trip back and we're about 45 minutes in. As you can see here, the viewpoints are surreal here. Welcome to Pasu and you can see all of the mountains in here you literally feel like you're in a postcard at the moment like i swear this is like you look out and you're like is this even real right now you got harry catching sinnies fresh in the morning that's how you know it's good views oh yeah baby uh-huh uh-huh All right, guys, we just made it back into downtown Hunza, and this is going to be one of our last meals we have in the northern part of Pakistan. I think we're going to have some chai, some paratha. As you can see, I think the guys over there are making some of them fresh. So let's see where the boys, which way are we going? In here? All right. So this is where we're going to be eating. So this is Chow Central over here, yeah? This is where we get the good stuff. We have a chai, paratha, and toast. Uh, what you want? Perfect. Okay. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're getting some fresh paratha bread being made. So let's see if we can get a little sneak peek. So this is where the fresh paratha bread's made. Can I get a sneak peek? I'm trying to see if we can see a sneak peek of the parathas being made. All right. Uh-huh. That's going to be delicious. Salam alaikum. All right, we're going to be chowing on that mixed with some eggs here. And that'll get us going in this uh, brisk cold morning here in the Hunza Valley area. Oh, we're cooking one on top of the other now, too. Got a full line. Everyone's getting their morning parathas today. Well, a bit of a line, guys, so as soon as the uh, parathas are ready, we'll give you a proper tasting here soon. Oh, yeah. A little paratha. A real warm paratha. This thing is fresh off the press, guys, I tell you. Any hotter, I would probably lose my fingers. All right, let's flip that thing over. Sandwicher. And uh, without further ado, let's see how this thing tastes. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. mmm. Whoa, she's a sponsor. Yeah, she should have all over mm. Mm -mm -mm. guys literally i'm getting sad thinking about leaving pakistan knowing i'm not gonna be able to have paratha bread anymore it's so freaking good i can't get over how good this is like the oils mixed in with the eggs it just gives it like this whole new level of breakfast taste mm. we got some fresh chai here oh there we go look at that pour on there Oh, not very good. Let's see if I can do this one. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. That's an akram pour right there. You see that? What do I do? <laughs> I don't know why it's just not loading. I'll, I'll keep trying. Yeah. See that akram pour right there, bro? <laughs> oh, that one's got a little spray on it. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Mm, time for some chai. Is this karak chai? Oh, the strong stuff to get us going. <laughs> Oh, much needed guys. I've been pretty tired this morning. We've actually already been up for like two hours, but you got, we're probably only like three minutes into the video because I was half asleep. Now we'll be ready because we've got, uh, what, 12 hours to get us back? Yes, if we not get the protocol. Oh, yeah. But we're taking a different route, so inshallah we won't have a uh, police escort, 19 separate cars for the next 15 hours. So it'll probably be 12 hours then. Mohammed, it's good to see you again. How are you? So we're going on the adventures again today, yeah? Yeah. Inshallah, not 19 police cards, yeah? I uh, hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, we're going a different route, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because we're not going back to the SWAT area we're going. Uh, we will go around from uh, Mansera. Okay, so skipping the dams. We will try to skip it. Yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. All right, guys, you heard it. You'll have to stay tuned to see what happens. How much is it? 566. All right. Shobash, keep the change. Allah Hafiz. All right, guys, that meal came out to about 500 and just a little bit after that. So it was maybe three US dollars. And of course, hooked our guy up with a little tip as well because he made those parathas delicious. What'd you think of that meal, bro? Horrible. I'm joking. Very, very nice. Hit the spot. The lad's got jokes today. <laughs> it's about there right now. And uh, yeah, really nice and giving me some energy for a very, very long time. Project. Very long. Yeah, at this point, guys, we won't even make it if we have no stops with the police um, until like almost midnight. So we shall see what happens. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Let's go. Brother, it's been a great time. Thank you for everything. Inshallah, we'll see you uh, next next summer, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Thank you very much for everything, brother. Yeah, thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, welcome, bro. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Hopefully. See you soon. Yeah, see you soon. thank you, brother. All right, take care. You guys, we're back with Mohammed, and we're uh, cruising through the uh, southern part of Hunza. And actually, the nice part is this is all going to be almost like a brand new drive, even though this exact portion of the route we took on our way up, because it was pitch black when we drove. Um, geez, already like four, five, six days ago. But uh, as you can see here, more villages, more valleys, and more towering mountains in the distance here. So guys, we just stopped downtown here in the Rakapushi viewpoint, which sounds like a little bit like New, New Zealand type names. Oh yeah, the zip line would have been fun. Second longest zip line in Pakistan. That's yeah, too bad we don't have more time. Yeah. And here is the official viewpoint, guys. We've got I Love Pakistan there. We've got some non-snow covered mountains here and then some snow covered further in the distance. Very, very beautiful. As I've said a million times in the Hunza series, but for good reason, as you can see. We've got locals coming in fast. Hello, good to see you. Abke hey. Tige, perfect, perfect. And on the other side here, we've got some views down into the river, a little bridge running across. And this looks like it'd be a great place to also come in the summer. You know, we already mentioned the zipline activities. There's markets, shops, restaurants right there. Obviously, we already had some chow this morning, so we don't need any. But uh, yeah, quite a few things to do in this area. Definitely, we'll have to uh, add this to the uh, things I'll be doing the next time I'm in the Hunza Valley. Inshallah, next summer. All right, and here we go, guys. We're going to continue on our trek. So guys, right there, that zigzag up on the mountain, that's the old Silk Road. Back in the day before there was, oh, you have the sign for it, Old Silk Road, known as Kinu Kuto, right? Kinu Kuto. And go wraps all the way into the mountains. How long is that road? Like hundreds of kilometers? Yeah, it starts from uh, down there, I will show you. For, uh, because the Hunza people were traveling on the, this road mm. before this kick edge. Wow. As we're entering through Dog Central, there's literally stray oh dogs God. everywhere. Well, I pulled my camera out a couple minutes late, but like there's probably like 25 of them in the street here. As you guys can see, we just got out of the car here. We're over here at the three junction points, a place that you can see basically three different mountain ranges in this area and uh, we have the river flowing through us that same river you've probably been seeing it i'm pretty sure it's the same one at least and yeah it's like this place is uh very well uh organized in terms of multiple viewpoints you can like take the pathway all the way down go from one viewpoint to the other viewpoint i would assume that one way down there probably gives you the best uh, uh river views there and then way out in the distance you can see the uh bridge connecting so Really a beautiful spot here. We got the Pakistan flag waving there. Pakistan Zinda bad baby. Let's go, let's go. And this is the spot. So the nice part is along this drive on the way back, there are many places to stop off. And honestly, just looking out the uh, window the whole time is, is quite an enjoyable experience because the uh, landscapes are just continuously changing and are so beautiful. So. Let's head on back to the car and keep on going. I love the colorful trucks you guys have seen in all the videos. They're all decorated so nicely. Every single one of them. Every single one. But before we go back in the car, guys, we are going to do one quick trip up to the top here, which is apparently the best viewpoint. Makes sense why they have a uh, big statue here. Oh, yeah. Now we can see more views of the river because we're a bit higher up. We've got the uh, Pakistan flag and now better view. We've got the boys down there hanging out. How we doing? Good and here we go. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Hello. The hair man. Hello, sire. Hello. <laughs> That's a British in the wild right there, guys. British in the wild. Guys, we're coming up on the most important phrase we've learned on this entire trip. What is it, boys? Pakistan, Zindabad. And there we are. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but uh, it's way in the distance on this mountaintop. You can see, that's probably gotta be like four or five kilometers from here. Maybe three, roughly.
This right here, guys, is a uh, free hot spring for the car wash. So these guys just pulled up. We've got a nice hot spring coming out. Assalamu alaikum. Up case, hey. Car's looking good. Very nice. Hey, you guys can see up there, it's steaming up top. And you can smell a little bit of the sulfur, too. And this is the uh, the dangerous passageway, right? Yeah, it's a bumpy road. A lot of stray dogs over here, I've noticed, too. Quite a few. Obviously, like, if you guys saw the earlier videos, we drove through this area in the middle of the night, so it's a very beautiful area, but you can now see why it's known as a dangerous area. Just kind of the uh, land formations and the complexities of how they're put together. It just seems like it's, like, dried up mud, so with a little bit of rain, you can imagine how this wall just comes tumbling down here and there and unexpectedly. And, of course, because there's the uh, hot springs, the geothermic activity happening down there. Uh, definitely gives you a bit of a thrill riding through this area because you never know when a boulder's coming down. Although it hasn't rained recently, so I don't think we should be too worried. Knock on wood. You guys can see that one right up there, that big crack in it. That one's just waiting for the next rainfall to come tumbling down. You can just see how loose it is. At least from this angle, it looks quite loose. If that thing fell, there'd be nowhere to go. The road gets a little tight over here. Guys, fast forward a couple hours here and we don't have a police escort, but we do have a bit of a line here and it's unclear. Landslide, uh, landslide? Yeah, they are uh, working on the roadside, you know. Oh, so they probably blew this one? Yeah. Yeah, so they've, today they are uh, got the dynamite out, blowing some uh, new areas up here to clear out the paths, which means it takes some time to clear off the roads. Seems like with the amount of cars here and locals hanging out outside, they've been here for quite a bit of time now and guys it's gonna be a late one from where we're at right now excluding stops nine hours and 15 minutes away here's the views we've got though there's definitely worse places to be stuck well we got quite the drop off right here one false step we're going swimming for the day as you can see we've got one two three four five six probably I'd say almost 20 something cars built up in this area salam alaikum Nice people out here. Salam alaikum. And quite beautiful though, guys. I will say, if there's anywhere to be stuck, this is the place. Because you'll never get tired of these views out here. But it doesn't even seem like they're moving up there. I'm looking at uh, basically the buildup right over there. And it just seems like the crane's parked there. Oh, that's probably because way down there, they must have the uh, timber on the road. I think I see, like, if you can see way in the back there. Well, we'll update you guys with how long it actually took. How can I get Hey, one from there. Mama's dead. Nice to meet you. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good name. Yeah, yeah, let's do a pick. Hey, the truck driver got in too. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Tige. Okay, okay. Shukriya. Shukriya. Nice to meet you. Meet locals. The hair man's missing out. We're meeting locals, bro. You're missing out. We're out here meeting locals. Yeah? Yeah, we we're just doing a photo session. Oh, now everyone's running to their cars. That's a good sign. They just moved everything. That's how you know it's clearing. Everyone's running in. So we got to hop in real quick because Hi, yeah. people are going to start honking because they've been waiting a while. So that's why you got to run to your car. You don't want to be the one holding everyone up. Let's go. And now it's going to be a race. I bet these cars are going to be flooring it past each other. This is part of the adventure though. I was wondering what it was going to be like to uh, be stopped from whether it was a natural landslide or a man-made landslide, which it looks like today's the man-made landslide day based on what the guys have been telling us. And now it's a race to the finish line, guys. The nine hours and 15 minutes clock starts now. Looks like this bus has had some better days. Can't tell if it got hit by the landslide or if it had a pop tire and the rocks were surrounding it. This is definitely landslide area though. Oh, there's a pretty fresh landslide right here. That wouldn't be fun to fall on the car. <laughs> you saw that? I was like, whoa. He's moving some serious weight on the back of that bike. Hmm? Yeah, mine's videos. Mayan? Mine's. Mine's? They don't like videos. Who? Oh, these people? Yes. Oh, so they didn't like that we were filming? Uh, apparently, we're not supposed to film in this area, bro. Oh, really? Why? They don't like videos. Guys, that last village we were at, they didn't like us filming, so we just drove another 30 minutes or so, and apparently this is one of the best spots for photography over here, and it looks quite beautiful. 
Whoa, got running water down there. It's pretty luscious green in terms of the landscapes over there. And up on the other side, we've got very steep mountains over there. Stunning. Time to get a little chai break, bro. What do you think? Let's chai break? break? Uh huh. I think old Akram's getting a little tired. You know, we wore him out after seven days. I'm not doing as much filming on the uh, way back, guys, because if you missed the video on the way up here, we filmed a lot of the landscapes here. And as you can see behind me, it's already gotten pretty dark. We still have about seven hours roughly of driving, so we'll probably arrive at this point maybe like 1 a.m. It's gonna be a late one. What do you think, bro? I've been getting like. 10 minute naps in here and there, so very broken sleep. Oh, so it's going by fast for you then? Well, yeah, ish. Yeah. I thought we were more than halfway though, and we're not. Yeah, not even close, bro. Actually, we're close to halfway. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. From like where we left this morning, which was like northern, uh, which was like an hour north of like the Hunza Valley central area. So now we're getting a quick little karak chai, strong chai ready to drink, and keep us going a bit longer. That is fresh Karak chai, ready to be. I wonder how many chais we drank on this trip. Probably five per day times 20 days by now. Probably over 100 chais. That's a lot of chai. Shukri. Shukri. And that's Karak chai number 100 or something like that. Plus or minus like 20. Delicious though. I will say they've grown on me because the first time I had Karak chai, I like thought it was good but I didn't love it and now I can say that I really enjoy Karak chai but still number one is the mountain chai we've had if you uh, saw that in a previous video up in the Hunza Valley it's like a green tea but in a completely different way and it's so delicious especially when it's cold out so let's hit the road guys So guys, this is where the journey comes to an end. We've had such an amazing last week with the uh, Posh brothers and Mohammed. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything. Welcome. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, guys. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah we uh, started the trip as strangers and left as friends. So thanks again. And uh, if you guys want to do a tour with the Posh brothers and Mohammed, I'll drop a link in the description below. They'll take you anywhere in Pakistan, in Hunza, wherever you want to go. They can customize the tours. They know this place super, super well so if you guys have enjoyed this one make sure to hit that like button if you want to see more videos both here in pakistan and all around the world hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in tomorrow's video